Hey, so in this episode, I'm gonna show you what I did to clear out my black water tank because it's definitely clogged. Okay, so our black tank is full. So essentially, um, right now so that means um but like we left it open so that means all of like the toilet paper and all of like our bathroom stuff um is has just been sitting in there so right now it's blocking so we can't drain it right now so it's essentially clogged um so right now we're trying to figure out how to unclog it um, before we go to the store to try and get something to like flush it out or snake it out or anything like that. So, um, Tim right now is going to get that figured out before we have to go to the store. Hey, so our black water tank is completely full. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I don't have a snake or anything, uh, to try to unclog it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the gray water tank and I have it right here in the shower. What I'm doing is I'm running this to fill up. I'm going to fill up the gray water tank completely. And then I'm going to open uh, both nozzles and hopefully the pressure from the gray water draining will pull some of the black water down. If that doesn't work, I might have to get some kind of um, hose or something to un unclog it. So everybody knows how accurate these things are. Check this out. So the black water tank is totally full. So I press it. It only shows halfway. Right now we're filling the gray water tank. And now it's full. It actually works. It started at 2. Now it's showing full. So I'm going to shut the water off. And then I'm, now I'm going to fill up the galley tank. Okay, so the galley tank and the gray water tank are both full. Uh, the black water tank is full. We're gonna try to dump the gray water and the galley water at the same time. Uh, and hopefully the pressure from that will release the black water. Let's do it right now. I'm looking at it, a lot of pressure. Coming out the end, it's full. But it's clear. It's not what we wanted. Well, that didn't work. So I researched uh, a bunch of home remedies to find out uh, what could work uh, without buying a bunch of stuff. And one thing I did find was uh, boiling some water in a pan and then just dumping it down into the drain uh, just a few times, let it sit overnight, and that the hot water would eventually agitate uh, the, the paper that was in there and break it up more. Um, so I did that, added some uh, soap into it. So I just dumped it in there. And now you can just see it's totally foam. So we're gonna let that sit overnight. Morning of day two with this. Flushing out the uh, toilet did not work. It's still plugged. Uh, so I went and got this uh, little thing from Walmart, the Rhino. And essentially, you just put the hose on it and then it'll back flush um, the block. Uh, I hooked it up, it did not work. Um, they make another one with a little slide that you can pull out and then push back in. They didn't have that at that time. I think that's what I'm gonna need. I'm gonna put this back up again. Try it one more time. I'm gonna open this valve up. I have this open. Let's see. So you can see it. Open it up. It kinda leaks a little bit. in there and then all the water comes back. But all the water is clear. So 
that didn't work. So I'm gonna have to go, uh, I'm gonna have to go siphon some of the water out. <clears throat> Cause it is past the fill line in the toilet. So I got a hose um, to siphon the water. So what I had to do is I had to, I had to hook the hose up uh, to the source water and I had to fill the whole hose up uh, with water, kink both ends, and then I had to take one of the hose ends, put it straight into the black tank from inside, push it down, and then release it from the outside. And that soaked up a bunch of the, a bunch of the liquid that was in the tank. That way I could um, actually put some more uh, water into it uh, with, this, with this little device to actually agitate the water. But I couldn't do it before because it was completely full of water. You can't add more water if it's already full. Okay, so uh, the Rhino uh, back flusher did not work. Uh, what did end up working, and it was really hard to video because there's a lot of moving parts in it, is I ran this hose all the way to the source. Um, anywhere at any store, Walmart, uh, Camping World, or anything like that. But what it does is it has a little, a little handle right here, and it spreads water in all different directions. And I just shove this down in the black water tank and I put that thing on full blast and it went right through. So this is worth, worth a million bucks to us right now.